and then bump up your uh, memory clock by let's say increments of five just to be safe okay five and then you want to uncheck um, overclocking apply overclocking at system startup you want to uncheck that because right now you are in trial mode and you might have to restart your computer in case anything happens like I said there will be a um, troubleshooting video so don't worry about anything um, I got you so hit apply and then you can see that right here in this corner of your screen um, the core clock will change from 900 or whatever your default is to your new settings and Unigent Haven benchmark should still be running so we're gonna keep on going up oh and I forgot you also change your uh, core voltage by let's say increments of 5 so it was at 1175 we're gonna put it at 1180 alright hit apply and Unigen Heaven benchmark should be running. Okay, so like I said, another 10 on that will be 920, and then we add 5 to this, which will be 1060. Okay, hit apply, and then bump up your voltage by 5 millivolts, and hit apply. Okay, and then you guys, you guys, you guys get the point. So let's just keep going. Um, let's see, where was I? 920? My current is 920, so let's put it at 930. So, hit, or it wasn't 940, I'm not sure, who cares? I'll use 940 and 1065, hit apply, and then bump up my voltage by, let's say, yeah, by 5. So. 1190 all right hit apply and uh, bump up your again you get the point it's very simple um, 940 50 50 60 so we can go to 960 bump up your um, your memory clock so to 70 and then once you once you get to a point where um, you think that your core voltage is high enough to um, you don't have to adjust it or it's too high just leave it and then keep on tweaking these settings and if you start running into problems with unit and having benchmark um, increase the voltage by a tad bit um, so yeah you want to hit apply and it should apply the new settings 960 by 1070 um, so we're going to be using my setup so you guys get the point um, be smart when it comes to the core voltage depending on the card you have um, you might want to increase it by a little bit by however much you want but it just depends on which card you are running so like I said to be smart to be safe bump it up by increments of five but for me I use my head and I pretty much determine how much to bump it up because I have experience with the program after a while you're gonna get used to tweaking the core voltage and a whole bunch of them. Um, this is gonna be like pretty much second nature to you. So let me apply my um, my working overclock setting. So you guys can tell that I have got it to 985. My core clock stable. Uh, my memory clock at 1175 and my core voltage in millivolts at 1238. And I'm running the Radeon HD 6870. I don't try to um, do this if you have the same card because I I'm running like a half X and it's got like so much cooling in it so yeah so you want to minimize that um, let Unigen run for a while and then you want to close it down so once it's closed you want to relaunch it again and if it launches without any problems you have completed the first step in benchmarking so let it open up again and if it doesn't run and your drivers stop working well there's a troubleshooting video for that like I said so yeah it appears to be running very smoothly and that is partially because I'm using the basic settings <laughs> with pretty much everything turned off um, but yeah Unigen Haven benchmark should run so when you have that 
configured you should have no problems with it and then click run um, let's go back to MSI afterburner oh I forgot to mention one thing which is very very important I uh, will um, when it comes to the fan speed hit auto and then check um, user defined okay um, then click applied so yeah I forgot that so before uh, you even uh, try to do anything remember to watch the whole video I would have like like I posted in the beginning of this video watch the whole video before you even do anything because I might forget something which is very important like this so you want to hit user defined and um, your fan an auto and your fan speed should be running with this setting so you are safe okay so once that's out of the way and you're done with unit in heaven benchmark um, you want to like I said run heaven benchmark you want to benchmark and let everything run you want to open up firmark it's right there now firmark is gonna be the breaking point to see if your computer is stable or not because this will stress your GPU to its maximum degrees okay so go to settings okay now under settings you want to check um, GPU temperature alarm and set it to let's say the safe parameter would be 80 degrees Celsius alright now if you don't understand Celsius let me explain this to you 0 degrees is freezing point 100 degrees is boiling point so that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and it freezes everything freezes at 0 degrees so if your card gets to 100 or 90 or close even 80 85 um, it's acceptable but anything above that you're playing Russian roulette with an AK-47 okay but for this my recommended sentence for the temperature when you're doing this benchmark is 70 degrees if you go above that 70 to 75 is alright but if you go above that like I said you're playing Russian roulette except if you're going above 80 to any infinity and beyond then you pretty much pull out an AK so let's get started you wanna benchmark it first in 720p mode so that it can actually read your configuration and then you can benchmark it in 1080p and if you don't have a 1080p monitor go to versus resolution and set it to your maximum display so minus 1920 by 1080 and um, for this example I can't run it in full screen mode and uh, so I'm gonna run it in use and windowed mode with my user setting now this will pop up caution read this before running firmark test firmark is a very GPU intensive application and you it may cause you and you may exper experiment some ex wait experiment some instability wow this guy's can't type you may experience some instability or a system shutdown do the burning test at your own risk possible causes of instability now if you, the test doesn't work um, here is the reason why you have too much of a high overclock settings um, insufficient power problems with your VGA cooler or VRM so you want to hit go and um, it should run pretty much stable so right now I'm getting 36 frames like I said I am recording with Camtasia so that will tank my frames down um, so let the benchmark run monitor your temperature mine is currently at 58 degrees Celsius 60 and it's just it's stable at 60 so make sure it doesn't hit 70 if it hits 70 75 all right anything above 75 like I said you're in the red zone and you can deal with that yourself but I recommend shutting down the benchmark and underclocking your card in MSI afterburner so let's see with this system completely stressed recording I'm getting 34 frames like I said I'm recording and a maximum temperature of let's see so this will pop up after you're done all right it will tell you the maximum GPU temperature you got and if you got anything under like I said 70 
or 70 to 75 hooray you've passed the second benchmark now you can click right here and it will take you online and you can compare your results but I have really crappy internet right now